Every city, Chicago or New York, San Francisco, everybody's got their own style of skating. You could call it rhythm skating. We're not professionals. We don't get paid. We don't get medals. And I don't think we look for them either. You know, everybody thinks it's like roller disco with uh, disco balls and bell-bottom jeans. They just have like no conception of what it really is. It's not your uh, grandma and grandpa's organ music style. It's it's <laughs> it's, it's get down and boogie. We call it rexing. It's done to the beat of the music. They call me Spinner. It's a name they gave me many years ago because I like to do a spin on the corners. We called it Soul Skating, strictly from the soul. They say I'm good, I don't know. I don't do any jumps, flips, and twists. And I used to though, but uh, now I'm 65 and I'm uh, broke down and then uh, I gotta take it easy. I love to burn that energy like I was still a young kid. It makes me feel good and keeps me, some say, looking good. <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of work. I'd say my style most closely resembles JB skating, James Brown skating. James Brown had what we call footwork. I would always ask people, am I doing this right? And people would say, there's no handbook. No, you learn the basics and then you put your own panache on it, if you will. My name is Ezel Watson III and my skater name is Mighty Strolling is something that I learned in Dallas. A stroll is a synchronized way of skating where you're usually moving around the entire rink and doing a series of different steps. They will follow the exact same pathway as the next person. You all get in the same rhythm, you're just floating along, and it's beautiful. It just brings back all these happy memories of me being in the line. In the early 80s, I heard about another session that was supposed to be really good. I went there and I was blown away from the way people skated. It was called Rexing and I had never seen it before. The man, Doc Titus, that was teaching it, he taught me how to do the 180 jump. He has kind of changed my life. I mean, I had been racist at one time in my life. Because of Doc, I was so open to multicultural people. My friends and I, white friends, black friends, we started putting together a club. We were trying to build something in Portland where we didn't have the prejudiced. We didn't have white or black. We had cross-culture, and we became cross-culture rhythm rollers. I've skated in Dallas, I've skated in Baltimore, I've skated in D.C. I've skated quite a few places, and everywhere I've gone, I've noticed a higher proportion of black skaters than what I noticed in Portland. In Portland, it's more whites than blacks. It doesn't make me a difference, because, I mean, we all just skate. You know, we're rollers. It's what we do, we roll. There's nothing about your color, it's just, you got a beat. If you ain't got a beat, then come over here and I'll show you how to get a beat. Some of the hurdles that I have faced in Portland with respect to skating have definitely been because of race. But your love for skating, be it black, white, any color in between, your love for skating keeps you coming to the ring. Love has a way of breaking down barriers.
I definitely would appreciate just having more rinks around and just having younger kids more into roller skating. My name is Noah Bowers, I'm 22, and my skate name is Choo Choo, which I actually got from my parents. It's actually brought my family together. My son is 22 years old. Noah skates four days a week. My husband skates like two to three days a week. Even though I work from six to four, seven o'clock comes, I want to skate. I didn't know I liked dancing until I started skating. And once I got on skates, I felt like I had an excuse to try whatever I wanted to try as far as dancing goes, because if you look silly, you're on skates. You know, I just worry about the situation of skating. You know, I know there's a lot of rinks closing. You know, we see it here in Portland, and you can see it across the country. Tonight we're in Gresham, Oregon, and we're at Gresham Skate World. And it is the last event for Two Raw here at this place because this place is closing down like so many rinks across the United States. So we're here, and we're throwing our last jam here, and we're trying to get the word out that we're not dying, that we're just moving to Oaks Park, which is another local rink. We're trying to keep a dying thing going. And I have a lot of friends just like me, you know, the diehards. Skate till we drop. Oaks Park is the only remaining skating rink within, I would say, 150 miles. Some of my friends I've skated with for 35, 40 years are down here every Tuesday night. It makes my heart feel good just to see how many people are down here and the young people that are coming in, how they are affected, how they are touched by it as it touches me. You actually really get to see, you know, what someone is feeling on the inside when they're doing this, and you really can. You know, when someone is really in the moment, you really see it in them. I definitely used to be a very shy person, but uh, just finding roller skating definitely helped me get out of my comfort zone and just be able to just have fun in front of everybody. We're jumping, we're spinning backwards, and spinning around, we're having fun. For me, skating in this style and in this community represents everything that's right with the world.